What are we doing today, Pete? I'm filming episode six on My Possum Frenchie TV on the YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm six videos deep and I got some new shoes here that I ordered. I can't be wearing my dad shoes. <laughs> All right, here it goes. <laughs> it's so different now that I have someone in front of me. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks a lot for stopping by and checking out this video. Um, I really appreciate everyone's uh, feedback on the last one. I know you guys have been uh, wondering and asking me to do a video on why is the French Bulldog such an expensive breed. So today's video is just about that. And I'm gonna go over with uh, some of the highlights as to what makes uh, these guys so expensive. All right guys, so brief little history lesson of where exactly did the French Bulldog originate from? Well, it all started back in the 1800s when, <laughs> I guess he's out. French Bulldog originated from Nottingham, Nottingham, England. And people suspect that it's a cross between a pug and a terrier but the French Bulldog didn't actually gain popularity or adopt the name French Bulldog until lace makers migrated back to France, which is when they became popular and they adopted the name French Bulldog. Right, so it wasn't until the First World War, until after the First World War, that the French Bulldog became less popular and was almost instinct. Extinct, extinct. And <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's what my producers are saying. It's right. All right. So that's it for your history lesson. Now let's really get down to why are French bulldogs so expensive. Before anything happens, you need two healthy set of parents. So what breeders do is that they get their males and their females genetically tested to ensure that they do not suffer from any uh, genetic disorders and that they're not gonna be passing any uh, of those disorders onto their litters. So this is an added cost to the breeders. It can range anywhere from $200 to $500, depending on where they get them done, what kind of testing they have done, and um, where they need to send the samples off to. It's also very important to note that the French Bulldog uh, cannot mount uh, because of their short legs and their um, narrow hips. Because of that, uh, breeders need to intervene and help with the uh, pregnating? Yeah, process of breeding. So what happens in this phase is that they actually have to extract the sample from the male and then they have to artificially inseminate it into the female because they can't mount. So unfortunately, these guys do not get the full experience. <laughs> French Bulldogs have a very difficult time giving birth naturally. So therefore human intervention needs to happen. And the way that this is done is that the female should have, did he fart? French Bulldogs have a very narrow birth canal, so therefore it's very difficult for them to give birth naturally. So human intervention is uh, necessary when it comes to giving birth. And the way that this is performed is by having a cesarean um, procedure. So what this means, the female goes under and then they, you know, they have a cesarean procedure. If the mum were to give natural birth, it would create a lot of stress for her. It would put them in a very risky situation because of their very narrow birth canal. The puppies can get stuck in there, which potentially could mean that the mum is going to pass away and the rest of the litter. Not to mention, you also run into things like passing along STDs with um, a natural birth. So it is very important and it's very um, recommended for breeders to um, perform a cesarean uh, procedure when having their litter. So this comes at an added cost to the breeder. The price could range anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000, uh, depending on the vet's location. Um, if you're taking in your female uh, during regular business hours or if it's an emergency, it's also really gonna depend on. So the puppies have been born, they're healthy, the mom's doing great, the puppies are doing great, everything was very successful, and they get to go home. 
Now, for the first two to three weeks is the most crucial for the puppies. Um, not only are they being fed every two to three hours, but they also can't be left alone with their mom. So this means that the breeder needs to be around, they need to be monitored. Um, even though the mom is doing most of the work, um, they still need to be supervised. The average litter for a French Bulldog is between four and six. Now, I know there's a lot of information out there where there's claims of one to three. However, the breeders that I have spoken to and that I know of, most of their litters are between four and six. Sometimes there are situations where um, the mom will have about nine puppies. I actually know someone that had nine puppies, which is very large for a French Bulldog. Now I mentioned this in my first video, before you own a French Bulldog, which I'll put a link right up here for you guys to go take a look at, um, is that the average cost for a French Bulldog is anywhere from $3,500 to $10,000. And what's gonna depend on that is all the costs that the breeder has incurred during the breeding process but also the size of their litter and depending on what colors they have your standard colors they're going to be a little bit um cheaper i mean by no means is thirty five hundred dollars cheap but they're not going to be as expensive as some of the exotic colors like your your uh, chocolate tans your your uh, lilacs your uh, blues or isabella's those uh, colors are um, a little bit more expensive because there is a little bit more um, there's a little bit more of a process to produce those colors and you know some of you guys are going to be you know you guys are going to disagree with uh, you know tricolor or um, non-standard colors but it's you know it still requires a lot of work and a lot of testing to be done to produce those colors that's it for today's video if you guys like this video and you guys like fully and you guys love this new studio backdrop then drop us a like give us a comment down below let us know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next one this is pete what's going on everyone yeah cool <laughs> <That's all I laughs> <got. Good>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Oh yeah, that looks sick right there. Hitting that subscribe button and making sure <laughs> You should have kept going. Are you, is this is it recording? Yeah. Oh I didn't know. <laughs> rolling. Rolling, rolling. Did you just car here? Yeah, you just ruined my concentration into uh, breeding those particular colors. Bam! That was a good one. Sorry, man. Is that it? Yeah, no, that was like perfect. Yeah. <laughs>